everyone, Sophia here, and I'm joined by Nora Poloni, senior producer at Eating Games, here to show us Test Drive Unlimited 2. Welcome. Thank you. And so, Test Drive Unlimited 2, sequel to the first one. Uh, so tell us, like, overall, like, what can we be expecting? Test Drive Unlimited 2 is about um, an MMO racing game type of game. And uh, the idea is that your objective is to become rich and famous and acquire the most beautiful and desirable cars in the world. So now in the first game, we raced around, like, in the island of Oahu. So where are we going this time? Uh, this time, we've added in a completely new island, which is Ibiza, and you'll be able to discover this completely Mediterranean island with different landscapes. you got historical buildings, narrow roads, and it's really a completely different atmosphere than Oahu. So what are the new features in this game, like things that you want to highlight? Uh, the main features that we've concentrated on is that we really reworked in terms of the car experience itself. Like, for example, we reworked completely the car dynamics, added vehicle damage, new terrain, all-terrain vehicles. Um, another key element we did is we reworked in terms of the, um, the uh, multiplayer aspects. Like, for example, the connections between the players, making sure that they stay together all the time. Um, added notions of, like, you can create clubs and be members of uh, clubs. Um, we've also added the new game modes linked to that. Um, customization possibilities. Um, another element is that we added a new offline experience uh, with narration and also new game modes. So it's really, we've extended this. It's practically twice as big as the first one. Yeah, there's a lot of features there. But like, let's uh, go into more detail about some of them, like the social networking part of it. Could you go into uh, detail about that? Yes, we really wanted to focus on the um, uh, online aspect, push that even further than the first one. So for example, today you can meet up with any other player anywhere uh, in any meeting points. Like if you go in a car dealer or at your home and things like that, you can meet up on players. And this is like hugely from the first test drive when before you could only meet up in free ride sessions. And the idea is that you can meet up through your avatar, you can have animations to say hi, you have like specific identity files to get to know them better, and uh, really you'll be able to share a lot of experience together online. And speaking of cars, like what cars can you actually tell us that will be in the game right now? Oh, our objective is really to have license-based cars and um, the high-end type of cars, so really the most desirable cars you can think of. So in terms of like graphically, like how the game looks, like has anything changed in terms of um, you know like time passing? Yes, we've integrated the notion of night and day cycle in the game. So you will have a full night and day cycle. It will be the same for every player because it's based on the game server, and it's like a two and a half hour. So for example, if you play every day at the same time, you won't find yourself at the same time of day in the game. So how big is the game? Like, how much road are we talking about? You said there is going to be off-road as well. So, like, how long would it take to drive around this entire island? So just for Ibiza itself, we have over 930 kilometers of roads. You've got, of that 930 kilometers, you've got 310 kilometers of off-road that you'll be able to explore. So you mentioned just Ibiza, so what other islands are we exploring here? Um, we've got Ibiza in, um, but you can also go to explore Hawaii. So Hawaii, you'll be, it'll be a completely different experience for those who knew the first test drive. We've completely reworked the graphics um, to include the day and night cycle and the weather conditions, for example. But also we've added in 600 kilometers of um, asphalt and off-road roads. We've changed the different missions and the challenges to new places. We've integrated in the new game progression so basically you'll be rediscovering Hawaii in a new light. Could you talk a bit more about the challenges and what changes have been made and what's been kept the same? Uh, in terms of the challenges we've really developed a lot of the multiplayer challenges we've added in like a new uh, online gameplay which is the cooperative experience so some of the different challenges you'll be able to do and the cooperative experience are really cool. Any plans for DLC in the future? Definitely, we are aiming to make sure that we have a DLC plan in, um, for after the release of the game uh, with community management and we want to make sure that all the new content replies to the community feedback. What about motorcycles? Is that going to be included? Um, we are thinking of doing motorcycles definitely like from the first test drive. Uh, we just want to make sure it's 100% perfect. Um, we've changed the car dynamics so we want to make sure that works exactly as we wanted to. So motorcycles will be coming out later from day one. So when is the game coming out and on what platform? It's coming out this fall on PS3, 360, and PC. All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And that was our very first look at Test Drive Unlimited 2. Be sure to check back on the game space for more coverage.